Hey everyone, in today's video, I'll show you how to make this attendance sheet in Microsoft Excel, wherein you can simply click on a checkbox to mark someone present, absent or on leave. Let's have a look at the demonstration first. Right over here, you can see this attendance sheet. Let me show you how we can mark someone present. If you click on this checkbox, you can see it has been marked as present. And similarly, if I'm going to click on this checkbox, again, this particular guy has been marked as present. And if you want to mark someone as absent, we simply need to click on checkbox. It would be marked as present. And if you click again, he would be marked as absent. And right behind the checkbox, you could see false. So simply click on the checkbox. You could see the attendance is being marked right over here. And similarly, and this particular column shows the number of days this gentleman didn't turn up to the institution. And the last column H is for holidays. As you keep on clicking, you could see these holidays are actually decreasing. And when you have used this attendance sheet for a whole month and you want to reuse it, simply select all the checkboxes that have true or false values that is either they are checked or unchecked for the attendance or absence simply select and press delete and you are good to go again so this was a brief demonstration let me show you how we can make this attendance sheet here we are into a new sheet first off i'm gonna add the days for the whole month so i'm gonna write one two and now simply select both of these cells grab this little green square and drag it towards right like this till you reach 30 and uh, since we are in december so i would leave it to 31st and there we are now we have to add the days of the week as well and uh, let's start the days of the week from the monday and let's put tuesday for the second day simply select both of these cells Hold this green square and drag it like this. Leave and there we are. Let me decrease the width of the column so that we could see the entire month on the screen. So simply bring your cursor right under the top. Hold the right mouse button and drag towards right like this. Now bring your cursor right over here. Again, hold the right mouse button and drag it towards right to reduce the size of the cell and i think this is good enough now we can see the entire month on our screen let me select these top two rows go to home tab and click on merge and the center and let me write attendance sheet right over here let me select it and increase its size select it again in the font group go to this fill color and choose this green color or whatever color you may like let's insert year and month right over here let's make things centered and you can use fill color for the year and month as well next i'm gonna add the employee's name right over here let me select these three cells and click on merge at the center again and align them in the middle and let me use some color for the employees and i think this one is good i'll write ids again click over here and align them in the middle let me add the name of a few employees and you can fit the name of these employees into the cells by double clicking right over here between the two lines. Let me add a few random IDs and let me select this IDs, employees names and the days of the month and apply all borders to the sheet. So far we have made the basic scaffold of our attendance sheet and let's go to developer tab to add the checkboxes to these cells and if you don't find this developer tab in your copy of the microsoft office simply right click over here click on customize the ribbon and right over here you can see under main tabs we have this developer tab it might be checked off in your case simply check it click on ok and you would see this developer tab enabled in your copy of the excel now go to insert tab and in the form controls group you can see we have this check box click over it and drag it right over here simply bring it in the middle and that is the check box it has some text beside it you can simply change it to include a text of your choice but for this particular demonstration i don't need to have any text so i'm going to remove this text but first let me show you how does this behave now click over it and you could see the check mark again click over it and it's unchecked when you bring your cursor right onto the top of it you could see this hand icon right click go to edit text and let me delete this text and there we are now we are going to assign true or false value to this checkbox simply right click again 
go to format control and in the control group you can see we have these three values unchecked checked and mixed right now our checkbox is unchecked that is why we have this unchecked value turned on now simply click in the cell link over here and go again into this cell where you are checkbox reside click over here and now we have linked this particular cell to the control right beneath it you could see we have this 3d shading option if you are going to check it then on clicking the checkbox you would see different shades of color when it is checked or unchecked i'm going to leave it as such let me click on ok and now if you click over it you can see we have this value right beneath it true and if you click again it would show a false value let me increase the size of this cell to show it clear and there you can see and similarly we can go again over here and add one more checkbox like this again right click go to format group cell link click over here click on ok you can see it shows true or false value when it is either in checked or unchecked state now we can simply copy these two checkboxes right into the entire table only the first two cells are working properly and the rest of these cells actually doesn't follow the pattern that we have in the first two cells in order to avoid this problem you need to go to insert tape again and insert this checkbox one by one into the entire attendance sheet and then connect them to the control group so that you could see this false or true state turned on or turned off when the checkbox is checked off or checked on so this is going to be a huge and tedious repetitive job let me show you how we can get rid of this problem but first let me add the checkboxes to the entire attendance sheet let me go to developer tab insert click on this checkbox right click and delete the text next select the cell hold this green square and drag it towards right and they have been copied in the entire row again grab this little green square again from here and drag it down to copy into the entire attendance sheet and there we are right click right over here onto the name of this sheet that we are working in go to view code insert module and let me insert this particular code right over here you can see sub link check boxes and it actually ends at in sub i will provide the link to this code in my description box simply copy from there and paste it into your sheet let me close and again close it from here again close it now go to file save as browse and simply save your excel sheet as excel macro enabled workbook make sure that you have saved it excel macro enabled workbook before proceeding to do the rest of the things let me click on save and we are good to go we'll go to view tab macros click on view macros and let's apply this module 5 actually this is the last macro that i have made while demonstrating you how to connect these checkboxes with a true or false value simply click on run and and there we are now click on each checkbox and there you can see we have true or false value appearing on checking and unchecking the checkbox let me add a column for the present absent and holidays right over here let me write present absent and holidays into these three columns right over here and let me select these two cells go to home tab merge at the center let me go over here to middle align it and let's do the same for these two as well give some fill color to these columns as well now we are going to apply this simple formula to count the number of days this particular person a son comes to the institution click over here is equal count if range let me select the entire range like this comma for the present the criteria has to be a true value simply write it between these double quotes true close the bracket press enter and there we are now click over here and there you can see it's present again click over here this is the second present and so on and let's do the same for the absent as well simply is equal tab select the entire range comma double quotes and put in this false text close the bracket press enter and there we are now if you click over here it would be marked as present but if you click again it would be marked as absent although it is unchecked but right beneath it you could see this false value 
and as for the holidays you can see we can simply add these together and simply subtract it from the entire days of the months since we are in december so i'll write is equal 31 minus bracket start this value plus this absent value bracket close enter and there we are so now you can see it's showing 31 holidays because we haven't checked any of the boxes if you click on any of the box it would be marked as present and you could see the holidays are actually decreasing if you click again you can see it's functioning properly if you want this particular guy to be marked is absent then simply click again and over here you can see we have one absent for this guy so simply by clicking on these check boxes you can add the number of the days a particular employee has come to the institution and the absentees that he has done and the number of holidays that he has availed and if you want to reuse it simply select the table like this press delete from your keyboard and you can reuse it as well i hope you have found this tutorial helpful please give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and thanks for watching